the story of Ferdinand. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. <laughs> he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together, but not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favourite spot out in the pasture under a corn tree. It was his Favorite tree, and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome, and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and have As the years went by, Ferdinand grew. And grew. Until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the corn tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in the wind. All the other bulls ran around snorting, butting, leaping and jumping so the men would think that they were very, very strong. And fierce and big men. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. <laughs> And instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bee sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Wow! 
Thank you. 